So I have this Dell laptop here. This is the one I'm talking about. And if I turn this on, you will find that it will work for sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, and then it will be very hot and then it will shut off. I'm gonna show you how we can solve this issue now. Okay, with different laptop, right? You will find that the design is different, right? This is a Dell and what you will need to do you will probably need to take apart your laptop i know that this can be difficult for some of you but doing so can be very easy and make sure to take out your battery from here and we will be removing these screws in this area there is a heat sink that is holding down the processor chip and also the video card I'm going to show you what we're going to do there yeah. I'm going to remove these screws right here okay guys so if you look you can see that I remove the compartment from here and this is what I'm talking about this is our main focus right there and there are a lot of dust caught up in the vent area here as well but this is our heat sink here under these two cards we need to just remove this as I said before with some computers you would definitely have to take apart the entire thing to get to this point so however we are a bit lucky that we don't have to take apart the whole entire thing So what we need to do here, we need to solve is these two cards. You look, you can see that the two cards here, they're very dry, right? And if you look here, you can see that the compound on top, this is dry, right? This will definitely damage your computer in the long run. So your computer need to be maintain just like a vehicle just like how you will put in your engine oil you need to service of your vehicle this compound will keep your computer cool at a moderate temperature so when this is dry your computer will just heat up dramatically and also we can see that the vents are plugged up with dust the vents are a little plugged with some dust so we gotta clean that out as well but basically we can see where the thermal piece that's the correct name for it thermal piece and you can buy this on ebay you can get them in some sort of tube thing that you can squeeze out on top or you can buy them like this as well so what we need to do here we need to replace the thermal piece on the graphics card and also the processor right uh, our graphics card is good to go as we are getting display from our screen but the main problem here is our graphics card so in this case we would replace the thermal piece for this graphics card we need to clean it clean the heat sink as well and reapply new compound new thermal piece on the card okay guys so here I am and I'm gonna clean it off I'm gonna use this I do what I show that you can find something like this this is rubbing alcohol it's first aid antiseptic but I'm gonna use it to clean off the processor
and also we need to clean this also clean the heat sink area okay guys so what we need to do now we need to clean out the dust inside of this so we need to clean it out as well so I just did that I just brush out the dust in that area so now I'm gonna go ahead Apply some tomato piece. And this should be enough. Also, I'm gonna put some on top here as well. In this area. And that should be it. So now, all we need to do here is to screw this back down into place. And this will solve your overheating problem for a very long time until again you need to replace the thermal compound to keep your laptop cool other ways of keeping your laptop cool is to have external fans you can get a USB external fan to keep your laptop cool but ensure that you keep replacing your thermal piece after three to four years or so of heavily using your laptop so we just replace the thermal piece on the graphics card I'm gonna go ahead and screw up at these screws so we need to do this with if your laptop is suffering like this with that issue is overheating this is the culprit so just go ahead replace your your thermal piece because the piece on it is probably dry do so before it is too late this can damage your processor so also ensure that your fan is working and as I said if you don't want to go through all of this you can use an external fan Okay you guys, so I'm currently in the BIOS here for this laptop, there's an issue with the keyboard but as you can see this is how you can solve your problem with your laptop overheating and shutting off. This is what you can do, you will need a thermal piece, as I said for different computers it, it will be different, you will have to disassemble the whole entire body of your laptop to get to the heat sink to replace your thermal piece but I'm just giving you the idea of how we can solve this problem and you can also choose and use an external fans as well to cool down your laptop keep it cool as you need to keep it cool at a moderate temperature also you can change the setting in performance this is what can help you on the performance of your computer as there are multi-core support so if you would like to enable this as well 
can contribute so if you would like to go back on the code that your computer is using this is what I want to bring to your attention it is the acceleration there's something here called dynamic acceleration what this would do this will enable your computer just to perform faster and as you can see this is also enabled right here and this also would cause your computer to heat up and run at its full performance so if you want to utilize that you can also do this as well it will cause a problem in running high graphical games and high graphical content so that is something that you can look at why my computer is heating up that much after 40 minutes well this is one of the reasons why and this is how you can combat this problem as i stated before in the settings there in performance you can go inside there and you can disable some of the settings and you will find a difference within your computer as your computer will be running at a slower pace your processor will be processing at a slower pace and that will also reduce the heat as well if this video was helpful i would like you guys to subscribe to my channel and also comment down below for questions and comments as i stated before you can also buy an external fan this computer is pretty good i'm not feeling any heat or anything as yet and the problem is solved this will just keep the heat at the level it should be with the thermal piece that is on it so just like a vehicle you need to change your engine oil after a period of time if this was helpful again subscribe to my channel thanks I'm for watching and i appreciate it a lot